Hi everyone, I'm Jess, your Vice President of Student Involvement and I'm very, very excited to show you what I've been working on with our comms department over the summer. So I'm going to give you a little tour on our brand new volunteering portal. We've wanted to make it as streamlined as possible just because it's so important for our student volunteers to be able to log their hours, see where they're volunteering and then you can achieve those all important bronze, silver, gold and platinum awards. So let's have a little look, shall we? So first of all, you want to go to our lovely homepage, www.bucksstudentsunion.org. You then want to make sure you're logged in. These are the same details as your Blackboard login. You then go across to the Get Involved drop down tab and click on Volunteering Portal. You then want to either log in or register an account as a student. So you click on that and it takes you to your lovely homepage. Here you'll have a big yellow button that either says log hours or you have logged a number of volunteering hours. You've also got your award progress so it will let you know how far away you are from achieving your next award. You want to click on the big yellow button. It will then take you to where you can log your hours. Now you've got three options here, club and society, community projects or students union projects. So if you're a club and society member or committee member, you click on club and society. Or if you're just volunteering because it's something you absolutely love and enjoy and you're not part of a club or society, then you can either click on community projects or student union projects. I'll go through the difference between the both of those in a moment. First of all, you want to click on club and society if you're a member scroll down a little bit you'll then be able to add which club or society you're a part of so if you click on add club for example it will then say type you've got community or internal so community projects are things like one can trust book a common linden gate anything that is outside of the students union internal are things like driving the minibus running a session for your club or society uh, committee meetings, anything like that, that counts as internal. So let's show you how to log a community hour first of all. So you'd click on community, you'd then choose your club or society if you're choosing a society, so I'm going to choose Bucks FC. You then want to click on your date, so the start date is the 1st of September, add, and then it will come up on your little screen. So you then want to click on the blue bar that says community, be it Bucks FC and then the dates or whatever club you've chosen or whatever society you've chosen. You then click on log hours. So this is where you can put in your description for whatever you've done. So as we're logging community, I'm going to put in one can trust. Make sure you've got the correct date in there as well, but if you can't remember the date you did it on, then don't panic too much. Just make sure it's a valid date. I did four hours at one country, so I'll select four hours and then I'll press add. And there you go, you've added your first lot of hours. It's the same process every single time. So if you're re-logging, let's say for example Bucks FC, you'd then click back onto Bucks FC's little community tab that you've already created and log a new hour. You don't have to keep keep on adding your club or society once you've made one. It's the exact same process for internal hours as well and the exact same process for societies. Now, as I mentioned before, if you're just doing volunteering out the good of your heart, you have the two options of community projects or student union projects. So let's add a community project for an, a non-club or society member. So you want to click on community projects and then add community projects. So your project name let's take one can trust as another example so one can trust is the project the dates that you've done it so again first of september add you then want to click log hours again add the date if you can't remember don't worry too much activity description so bag packing as one can trust is a food donation point hours you did that for let's just go with two this time and add and there you go so every time you go to one can trust then you can log your hours in that blue barred section um, but each time you volunteer for a different place such as 
scout leadering or book a common you need to add a new community project it's the exact same process if you're doing students union projects so internal projects and you're not part of a club or society so you click on students union projects scroll on down add union project so the project let's say for example is campaign stall sitting so for example if you're helping me run um, a stall for Movember that counts as hours for volunteering so you then click on the blue bar log hours activity description Movember stall make sure you've chosen the correct date but again if not don't panic too much you did that for one hour add and there you go so because you've called it campaign stall sitting as well any campaign that you do and help with you can put it all in the same thing but yeah i hope that's helped any questions please drop me an email jess.bradbury at bucks.ac.uk and happy volunteering